Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. Doctor Now may seem like a kind, cute doctor, but he can get pretty sassy at times. Even though people come in to get better, some secretly don't want to and have tried to cheat the doctors many times. But when it comes to Doctor Now, he doesn't take nonsense from anybody. Let's take a look. Number 10. I've heard that a thousand times. No excuse works when it comes to Dr. Now. When a 28-year-old Shanae came in after a month for a checkup, she had gained 28 pounds instead of losing weight. Dr. Now was furious and he confronted her, to which she said, I have a lot of fluids in my legs. Dr. Now came back at her with, You have to try something else because I've heard that 100 times. Whoops, Shanae, not this time. I haven't ate anything. You keep repeating the same lie. Number 9. Do you look like you're malnourished? Lee was playing games and Dr. Now wasn't taking any of his rubbish. Lee always gave pretty lame excuses and played the victim card. He claimed to be just gaining weight without eating because he constantly throws up. And he has to eat more so that he doesn't get malnourished. To which Dr. Now said, do you look like you're malnourished? In the face, Lee. I don't want to get malnourished either. Do you look like you're malnourished? Number 8. Lindsay wanted another surgery. Lying to Dr. Now's face is not a good idea. After her gastric bypass, Lindsay failed to lose her weight or follow the 1200 calorie diet. Dr. Now was so done with her when she asked to get another surgery because the first one did not help. Lindsay was flashed by reality when Dr. Now said that it was herself who did not want to change her behavior and was likely to eat herself to death. What do you think you're going to do from this point? You're going to eat yourself to death or are you going to change your eating habit? Number 7. Eating right is hard. Ashley thought that she could get away with her poor progress in front of Dr. Now. Little did she know that Dr. Now was not going to take her bees anymore. She always argued that she did not grow up eating healthy food, so she could not change and that it's hard. Dr. Now straight up asked her that eating right is hard, and Ashley was speechless. It's hard. I'm not going to say that, um... Is what do you mean? Is eating, it... eating right is hard? Number 6. Chocolate is more important than life. When it comes to obese patients, they cannot say chocolate is life. Holly had her surgery two times and even after that she couldn't lose weight, claiming that a record keeps playing in her head until she gives in. When asked what record it was, she said, I want chocolate, I want chocolate. Doctor now gave her an ultimatum and said that it's evident chocolate is more important to you than your life. Have you had any activity over the last two months? What's that? Number 5. A Persistent Idiot Angie was supposed to lose 100 pounds over 2 months. But even after 5 months, she lost only 45 pounds. And even after that, she dared to say that she cannot wait for a month again to get weight loss surgery. Because she'd had enough and doesn't want to waste her time, to which doctor now said that she was wasting the time of everybody caring for her rather than her own. Did you check your weight? Yes. And how much you ate now? I'm down to 598.6, and I'm proud of that. Number 4. Lisa Hiding Food Doctor now paid a visit to Lisa's room to inspect the infection that she had developed. He notices trash from junk food lying on her bed. Lisa did not even bother to hide it. And even Doctor now told her that she was cheating and leading herself to her death. Lisa said that he was beating too hard on her. This is the junk you've been eating. This is why you're not losing any weight. Number 3. My problem is I don't want to eat. If you're obese and you think your problem is you not wanting to eat, then you're probably delusional too. Janine kept saying that she did not want to eat and that she's bulimic. Doctor now simply told her that not wanting to eat is a good thing, but here you're just lying. My problem is I don't want to eat. What do you mean that is a problem? That's not a problem if you don't want to eat. Number 2. James K. James and his wife Lisa were always in Dr. Now's bad books, considering how much they triggered him from day one. Lisa would give James food that he asked for ignoring all his restrictions. 
Doctor now told them to do each of their jobs, otherwise he will cut them loose. You do your part and he does his part or I'm through with you. Hey, hold up! Before we move on, just do us a favor and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our videos. Alright, let's get back to the video. Number 1. No transport for you Steven Asante was known for abusing the system. He would trick hospitals into giving him drugs and was rejecting his treatment completely. Once he called the ambulance to take him to the hospital, claiming his body was in pain. Dr. Now had seen so much of his tricks, so he simply rejected any medication and said that Steven rather goes to jail. He also refused him any means of transport for his way back. Steven's face fell when he realized Dr. Now was not buying any of his acts. Call the police department. Get the security down here. With his years worth of experience, petty lies and lame excuses don't work on Dr. Now. You either be committed and honest about your treatment or go down the path of destruction where no one can help you. This brings us to the end of our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Well, if you did, then like this video. We will be seeing you guys soon in another video. Until then, take care and goodbye.